China's rise as a global infrastructure powerhouse has stunned the world once again. Massive projects like the $32 billion China-Pakistan Economic Corridor, the $13.1 billion Nigeria High-Speed Railway, and the $30 billion Bangladesh Padma Bridge showcase a level of ambition and engineering mastery that demands attention. Yet even with these triumphs, skeptics remained. One project in particular seemed impossible, a tunnel so complex that American experts openly mocked it, calling it a fantasy. Critics doubted China's ability to tackle such an engineering nightmare. But rather than bow to the ridicule, China forged ahead, undeterred. Over 12 years and with a staggering investment of 45 billion, they turned mockery into awe. Let's dive into the details of this groundbreaking feat. China's rapid development has left the world marveling at its ability to achieve the seemingly impossible. One such feat is the Humaling Tunnel, part of the Delhi Ruli Railway, often described as the most challenging tunnel ever built. A particular section of this tunnel, ominously nicknamed the Hell Tunnel, spans just 173 meters, but took six grueling years to complete, a testament to the extreme difficulties involved. According to CNBC, China has unveiled numerous new freight train and cross-border railway routes in recent years, signaling its ambition to reshape global connectivity. Yet when plans for the Dali Ruli Railway were announced, many American experts dismissed it as impossible, ridiculing China's ability to finish such an audacious project. However, this railway is not just a logistical endeavor, it's a symbol of resilience and determination. The Dali Ruli Railway, a single-track electrified route snakes through Yunnan province in southwest China, covering 336.5 kilometers of rugged terrain. A staggering 75% of the railway consists of bridges and tunnels, including the monumental 34.5-kilometer Galigongshan Tunnel, which cuts through the Galigong Mountains. With a design speed of 140 kilometers per hour and a price tag of 25.73 billion yuan, this joint venture, led by the Ministry of Finance, is one of China's most ambitious infrastructure projects. The railway's origins trace back to 1938, when the British envisioned the Yunnan Burma Railway to connect British-controlled Burma with Yunnan province. However, that dream remained incomplete. Decades later, the Chinese government revisited the idea, proposing a railway connecting Kunming, China, and Kyaikpun, Myanmar. Political resistance in Myanmar led to a scaled-back plan, leaving only the China section, from Dali to Ruili, to be constructed. Work on the railway began in 2008. By 2012, due to the enormous challenges of tunneling through the harsh terrain, the project required an additional 5 billion yuan in funding. The Gaoligongshan Tunnel became infamous, earning the title, the world's most difficult tunnel. Progress was painstakingly slow, with engineers facing treacherous geology and the sheer scale of construction. July 22, 2022, the first section of the railway finally opened. That same year, work began on connecting Baoshan to Pia, with the ratio of bridges and tunnels on this segment reaching an astonishing 86.5%. By December 28, after six intense years, significant progress was achieved on the Baoshan Tunnel. By January 2022, another crucial segment was completed, linking this project to the broader China-Myanmar International Corridor. One day, the Dali Ruli Railway may form the western arm of a railway network connecting China to Southeast Asia, a key piece of the ambitious Trans-Asian Railway vision. A June 2022 report highlighted major updates to the project, with the Burmese side of the China-Myanmar Railway undergoing significant changes. The new design now includes 124 bridges and viaducts, up from 77, and reduces the number of tunnels from 77 to 60. This railway isn't just another connection. It's a critical part of China's long-term strategy to transform its western regions and strengthen its mid- and long-term railway network. But on this 330-kilometer stretch of track lies one tunnel that even the world's infrastructure madman had to admit was no ordinary feat. The Dazhushan Tunnel, located deep in China's Hengduan Mountains, quickly became known as a nearly impossible project. The Hengduan Range is one of the youngest mountain systems on Earth, formed by the violent collision of tectonic plates. The terrain is a relentless series of rugged peaks and valleys, with a parallel mountain structure that makes navigation and construction extraordinarily difficult. 
Adding to the challenge, the region is the source of massive rivers like the Nu, Lankang, and Dadu. These abundant water resources became a critical obstacle during construction, threatening the project at every turn. The Dajushin Tunnel, stretching 1448 kilometers through Baoshan City, is the first tunnel of its kind to cross the unforgiving Hengduan Mountains. From the start, it was clear this would be no ordinary construction. By August 2009, the project had reached the heart of the Yangzhou Fault, a treacherous 156-meter section that took an astonishing 26 months to excavate. Progress slowed to a crawl, with workers digging just 20 centimeters each day, a grueling pace that pushed the limits of engineering and human perseverance. Since work began in 2008, the challenges have been relentless. The construction team, led by the Yunnan Guangxi Railway Company and China First Railway Administration, encountered six major fault zones, each requiring careful navigation. They installed seven pumping stations and 56 high-capacity water pumps to combat the constant deluge of water flooding the tunnel. At its peak, 220 cubic meters of water had to be pumped out daily, enough to fill 88 Olympic-sized swimming pools. In addition to battling deep water, the construction team of the Dajushan Tunnel faced the unrelenting challenge of extreme heat. In some parts of the tunnel, the temperature hovered around 40 degrees Celsius, 104 degrees Fahrenheit, with humidity exceeding 85%. To keep working conditions bearable, massive quantities of ice in a 12 tons daily were transported inside to cool the air. Even then, workers could only endure the stifling conditions for three hours at a time before needing to rotate out. The tunnel's depth brought another layer of complexity. At its maximum, it lies 995 meters below ground. Its steep 23.5% vertical incline added to the difficulty, but the team also faced the daunting task of boring through a 1,270 meter long gas aquifer a feat that required unparalleled precision and innovation. Unlike many other tunnels, the Dajushin Tunnel had no auxiliary shafts to ease construction. Every meter had to be excavated from its primary entrances, which meant workers faced an 8.3-kilometer stretch without shortcuts for ventilation, drainage, or waste disposal. To address this, engineers built a flat guideway parallel to the main tunnel, spanning 14.19 kilometers and 30 meters wide. This guideway wasn't just a construction solution, it would later serve as a disaster prevention and evacuation route. Even with such preparations, the obstacles were relentless. Fractures in the rock face would frequently erupt with a mix of water and mud, sometimes overwhelming the tunnel and damaging equipment. These bursts weren't rare, they occurred every few meters. At one point, water surged into the tunnel at a rate of 12.2 cubic meters per hour, creating a seemingly insurmountable challenge. To combat this, a five-story pumping station was built within the tunnel, operating around the clock to manage the flow of water. Outside, the expelled water formed a roaring artificial waterfall. Engineers employed advanced techniques like high-pressure polymer grouting and water barrier reinforcements to manage the continuous influx. Despite these innovations, many experts around the world deemed the project impossible to complete. After 12 grueling years, the Dezushan Tunnel was completed. This monumental success silenced skeptics, especially those who doubted China's ability to complete such a Herculean task. What are your thoughts on China's achievement? Share them in the comments below, and don't forget to tune in for our next video.